Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video from Ants of Sydney. Today we'll be looking at my Opisthopsis, or Strobant colony. Strobants are found in many parts of Australia, especially Queensland and the Northern Territory. I bought mine from an keeping depot with five workers around a year ago now, and they had quite a tough start to life. Two workers died from unknown causes, and the other three were too shy to explore the outworld, and they barely ate anything for months. Then, one day, they decided to conquer the outworld, they began exploring and are now at 11 workers. Here's a clip of a worker foraging. The reason they're called strobants is because of their stop-start walking pattern. Scientists are unsure why they do this, but it could be to avoid predators. They are quite fussy ants as well. They'll only take crickets shorter than their body length and raw honey. Okay, now here's something a bit strange. See this worker, it's got black on its legs, which means it would be an Opisthopsis pictor. But this worker has no black on its legs, which means it's Opisthopsis rufothorax. I was and still am very confused when I realised there are two species of ants in this one colony. What I think has happened is Ant Keeping Depot brood boosted this colony, which means they took pupae from another colony and gave it to the queen of this colony before she had workers. This isn't bad, because I know this queen is fertile and lays eggs, but just something interesting. Also, this worker only has five legs, but I don't think these two things are related. And finally, I'd like to thank Aaron Sandra Dura and Stacked Doge for being my first two Patreon supporters. Really helps the channel, and you can expect to see some cool new ads soon. Thanks for watching!